Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Frazier Field. I almost said for Northeastern Conference baseball, but it's not. It's interleague baseball. Lynn English from the Greater Boston League entertaining Swamp Scott. They still get together. And they'll be getting together again at the end of the season. Joe Caponigo, the former English coach, now the Swamp Scott coach, uh, started the Dougie Mullins tournament. And that will be the end of the season, along with the Holland Tournament. So Swampskit will be back here for that. And it's nice they could schedule games together. They were long time huge enemies, friends along the way, but enemies on the field. And they had to break it up when English and Classical went to the Greater Boston League. So they Managed to play a couple of teams. I, I don't know if it's classical, might be playing Peabody or. So it's. Still that, that rivalry that hung on for so long. Nice to see it back. This is a rare Saturday night game. Over at Manning Field is the, the young. Used to be the Pup One, and now it's a. A little older group, but it's still the young kids' football. So action going on as usual in both places. English looking for their second win of the season. Swamps are trying to break a two-game losing streak and go over 500. They're three and three. They were three and one. They lost their last two. And they're looking to get back on the winning track. Kind of a funny day. It rained all morning, and then it cleared up. And I was I was coming here. The sun broke up as bright as it's been in a long time. And now, as we get closer to nighttime, this is six o'clock start. It gets a little bit dark with the sun kind of dipping away, but we still got blue skies and a huge, big white cloud over the ballpark. Lights have been on for a while here. It's still hard to get used to English wearing black and white instead of red and gray. English in their, uh, excuse me, Swamps in their typical blue and white. Andres Figueroa on the mound with his battery mate, Cal Furlong, behind the plate. And something new they have now, you can wire the catcher up and he can talk to the coaches. He can tell them, set the defense, call the pitch. That has just recently happened, we found out. So we're just about ready to start. Caden Ross, the second baseman, will lead it off for the Big Blue. At this gorgeous facility, it really is. They did a tremendous job on with all the, the rain. and We had that snow and slush, and they cleaned it off extremely well. Missing wide for a ball. We got a few fans here for a Saturday night game. Hit in the air to left field, backing up. Still backing up, falling down and making the catch. Elijah Wallace just kept floating away from home plate. He reached up over his shoulder as he caught it. He fell down and did a little somersault, but he stayed with it and made the play. And there's one up and one down. Corner, Chiarello. The center fielder will be the hitter. Ross hit that a long way, but Wallace tracked it down. Up and away for a ball.
So the weather's still not cooperating. It's still cool. Line shot to center field. Playing it on a hop. Chirillo gets the first hit. Galva breaking. Looked like he was going to make a try to make a catch. Then he decided I better play it on a hop. So Chirillo gets the first hit. He's the first base runner. It brings up Nick, Nick Barubi. Or Barubi, I'll say it both ways. The shortstop. High for a ball. The lights really haven't taken effect yet with that white clouds and blue sky. Has to get a little bit darker. In for a strike, the runner takes off. He hesitated. He was well off the bag. And then it looked like they were throwing it back to the pitcher. He took off and Chiarello gets a stolen base. So Swampskin has a runner in scoring position. Here in the top of the first with one out. Her ball hangs up and in. That curveball drops in on the inside corner. Two to the count. Hanging high for ball. We got our first full count. The payoff pitch. Chop foul. With the football going on at Manning and the baseball here at Frazier, both pocket lots are jammed. So the payoff pitch up coming again. Hit into left field. It's going to bring in the run. The runner takes off for second, and they got him hooked up. Second baseman tags him out, but. Herbie got it done. He got an RBI shingle. Very quickly, Swampsky jumps on top. Chase Ruthus. Ruthius. Ruthius. I'll say it three different ways trying to get it right. The third baseman is the hitter. High for a ball. So the hit in the stolen base, followed by a hit. Gives Swans get the lead here in the top of the first. On the corner for a strike. Two one the count. Up and away for a ball. Good curve ball. To the breaking ball on three and one. And we got another full count. Down the way for ball four. That base hit by Barubi, the shortstop Manzanillo was trying to keep the runner close at second base. He went over toward the bag. 
thinking they might throw it down. And that left the shot shop hole virtually open. And the hit went right through the shot shop hole. Hit foul back. This is Michael Collins, the catcher. Hit out in front of the plate. Shape at first, the Aaron throw. Figueroa made the play, he threw it up and away. It pulled Hernandez off the bag, he had to get off the bag in order to make the play. So the error on the pitcher keeps the inning alive. The runner, Grupus was on the move, he goes all the way to third, so it's first and third for Jason Buffard, the first baseman. And Will Rohde is the pitch runner at first base. Off the catcher and the runner's gonna score. And the runner's gonna take off for third. He's in. So the error extended the inning, keeps it alive, once he gets another run. On the wild pitch, Will Rohde, the runner, was stealing second, and he easily went to third when he threw the ball home trying to get the runner coming from third base. The ball got away a little bit from Furlong, and Rohde was able to get to third. Missing wide. So two runs in for Swampscott. Down and in for a ball. Coming on, Wallace. Can't make the catch, it falls in front of him. Hooper gets a big two out hit and an RBI. So that walk and the error that extended the inning, they both come around to score. And Swampskin has put three on the board. Jamison Ford is DHing for the pitcher, David Palmer. Throw down as Bruford got pretty good jump off the bag, but didn't go. Ford is the seventh hitter in the inning for the big blue. Swing and a miss. Off the catcher. Another runner in scoring position for Swanscott. <coughs> Two one the count. Jamison Ford, the DH. Hit foul off the catcher. And we got our first deuce as well. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And another base runner. We hit the trifecta four different ways to get on base. 
I hit a walk, an error, and now I hit batsman. Quinn Hitchcock, the left fielder, is the hitter. Not the way Esteban Paula wanted this game to start for the Bulldogs, the coach. In for a strike. Hit foul back. The 0-2 pitch. Drop to third. They finally get out of the inning. Swampskin sends eight to the plate. Three of them score. English being very gracious guest. With an error, a hit passman, a walk. Joe Campanegro coming back to his old haunting grounds, Frazier Field, where he coached English, now coaching against his old team. And his team gives him a 3 nothing lead. And David Palmer on the mound for Swanska before he throws a pitch is leading 3 to nothing. He runs on three hits. The only saving grace for English is it's a long game. They still have seven full innings to play catch up. But they're down three nothing before they come to bat. He turned out pretty good considering the way it started with pretty good rain. And we've had a lot of rain and a lot of cold weather. Nobody at the ballpark walking around with t-shirts and shorts. Everybody dressing up like it's football weather. Kirwood Calvo, the center fielder, will lead off. Ewood Beato, the DA hitting for the second baseman. Uh, Bryant Santana will hit second. Playing right field, batting third. Gamalia Calderon. In the cleanup spot is Kenry Manzillo, the shortstop. Pitching and batting fifth, Andres Figueroa. The first baseman, Jordan Hernandez, will hit number six. Catching and batting seventh, Kyle Furlong. Elijah Wallace, who made that nice play in left field, will hit number eight. And bringing up the tail end of the batting order, batting ninth is the third baseman, Sanders Richardson. Galva takes the pitch for a strike. Curve ball catches the inside corner for a strike. Solid shot, but he got way out in front of him and hit it way foul over everything. Out of the ballpark. Up and away for a ball. Fans still coming in. Pretty good little crowd. Changed that pitch that broke up and away, and they'll throw him out at first base. Changed the pitch was high, and then it broke away from on top of that. So Palmer starts. His night was a strikeout. Ewood Beato, the DH, hitting for the second baseman, Bryant Santana.
Swing and a miss. Took something off, it broke up and away. And it kind of evens at one. Chop foul to the third base coach. Put away for a ball. The two two pitch. Pitching down and away. Yeah, we have another full count. We had a couple in the top of the inning. Now we have one in the bottom. Fishing down the way for a ball. So the walk gives English a base runner. I mentioned the football players over at Manning. It's early April to be playing football, but they have to do it early because they wouldn't be able to get in the ballpark during football season because we got soccer games almost every night, football over the weekend. When you got five high schools, it makes it tough to find room during the football soccer season combining. Missing inside for a ball. Kimberly Calderon had a moment this year in a game against Linfield. He hit the ball over the fence for a grand slam home run that tied the game up. Swing and a miss. Pitch up and in. He swung right through it. Calderon is the right fielder. In for a strike. Took something off and dropped it on the outside corner. Curve ball catches the inside corner. So two also strikeouts. One swing he's thrown out at first, the other one called. It brings up Kenry Manzanillo, the shortstop. Nice stop by the catcher Collins on the pitch in the turf. I can't say in the dirt anymore because the entire complex is turf. It used to be, there was grass and, and dirt in the infield. Now it's turf, turf in the outfield, turf everywhere. Missing wide for a ball. Wing and a miss. They throw it down. Getting back is Beato. Nice stop by Collins on a pitch down and away. He can be fussy with this pitch with the count three and one. Swing and a miss. 
And the count goes full, so the runner will be off and running at first. Fishing wide. So we had two strikeouts and two walks. Andres Figueroa, the pitcher, can help himself here. As <coughs> Coach Joe Caponegro makes a trip out to the mound. So as Lynn Ties, his wife teaches at Brickett School. Friend of my wife's, also a teacher. Yeah, we got warm up action going down the Swampscape bullpen. Seen wide for a ball. In for a strike. Evens the count at one. Missing down and in. So a strikeout, a walk, a strikeout, a walk. Swing and a miss. And again, we got deuces wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Low for a ball, and again, another full count. The runners will be off and running. A base hit here could be interesting, especially if it's in the gap. Curve ball, he ducked under it, and it dropped in for strike three. So he walks two, but he strikes out the side. English leaves a couple. So we played an inning in this interleague battle. Swamps get jumping out to a quick 3 nothing lead at the end of one inning. As we start the second inning, it'll be 9-1-2. and two. Frank Poplado, the only hitter that didn't hit in the first inning for Swamps get, will lead off and then back to the top of the order. In for a strike. Swing and a miss. High and tight for a ball. Looked at that pitch, he knew it right away. Call third strike. Good pitch by Figueroa. Hayden Ross hit the ball well, leading off the ball. He hit a long fly ball to left. Elijah Wallace just kept going away from home plate. Finally reached up, grabbed it, fell down, did a somersault, but held on. And that was big because Swamps could, went from there to get three runs. So it could have been an even bigger inning. Hit to short. Here's Zanillo with the nice play. They throw Ross out. 
And if you're looking on your screen, you think it's brightened up. It's not the lights. The sun has come out again. And the sun is as bright as it's been all day and probably all month. Connor Chiarello singled, stole second, and scored on a base hit. Good curveball catches the inside corner. Good ball again, nice pitch. Backing away from that pitch and broke dead center. Tops it foul. Down around the third base coach's box. Good pitch on the outside corner. So a little different outcome of Figaro in the second. Strikes out two, retires three in a row. Get down in the second. For English, it'll be six, seven, and eight. Jordan Hernandez, Kyle Furlong, Elijah Wallace. So David Palmer will start his second inning of work. Had pros and cons. He walked two, but he struck out three. This is Esteban Paula, who is the coach of English. Plays for the semi-pro Swampscott team that's coached by Joe Caponigo in the summer. And I believe he played for Joe when Joe coached English. So a lot in common with the two coaches here at the game. In for a strike. John Hernandez, the first baseman. On the corner, quickly two strikes. Just got a piece of that pitch and stays alive, knocked it off the catcher. So we'll do it again at 0 2. Try to hold up when the pitch was inside. It actually went off the bat and went foul. And it stays 0 2. Palmer didn't like the baseball. The umpire threw it out of the game. Again, 0-2. Didn't miss by much. That's a tough pitch to take with two strikes. Yeah, a few more fans coming in. Nice little crowd for the Saturday night game. 
waves at that pitch that broke down on the way. So Palmer keeps it going. All the outs have been strikeouts. Kyle Furlong, the catcher, will be the hitter. Up and away for a ball. Nice stop by Collins on a pitch in the turf. You would think that Furlong would be looking all the way at this with the count of three and all. In for a strike. And again, it's got to be a pitch he can handle. Missing for ball four. So it's either a feast or a famine with Palmer. It's either a strikeout or a walk. He's starting off the second inning. The same way he started the first inning with a strikeout and a walk. And Elian Pena will run at first base. For Furlong. And that's that rule they put in a while ago where the pitcher and catcher can be run for as many times as they get on base without penalty of coming out of the game. Missing wide for a ball. And we got warm up action again in the Swanskip open. Collins wants to go out to talk to his pitcher. Swanskip took advantage of a shaky English by a shaky English inning top of the first. They got three hits, but they were helped out by a walk, an error, a hit passman, a couple of wild pitches. And they grabbed a 3 nothing lead. In for a strike. Wallace is the left field. We made that nice catch out in left field. First play of the game. Up and away for a ball. In for a strike, the count goes full. Not automatic at first, but we'll see if they send the runner. High for ball four. So back to back walks with an out enables English to bring the tying run to home plate. Sanders Richardson. He's inaugurating his shirt. He didn't have a he didn't have a jersey when he got here. The jersey was on on its way. He had to wait to have it delivered. In for a strike. He's the third baseman for the Bulldogs.
Fouls it back, 0 and 2. Good ball, catches him back to way and it dropped right in. Nice pitch. Couldn't hold up, it broke down the way, but he off it. Gilman Galvo struck out swinging and was thrown out at first base when the ball bounced in the turf. Hit in the air, it's going to go out of play. So quickly, two strikes. Line shot, foul. Just get out in front of it just enough. It was fouled by about a foot. Everybody holding their breath. English fans hoping it was fair. Swanskit fans hoping it was foul. Count stays 0-2. Again, the 0-2 pitch. <laughs> right down the middle, he took it. <coughs> Another three strike out inning. <coughs> A mirror image of the first inning. Three strikeouts, two walks. We finished two in this intercity. Greater Boston League against Northeastern Conference. Swamps get leading. In English, three to nothing. We'll start the third inning, three, four, and five for Swamp Scott. Nick Barraby, the shortstop, singled in a run. Up and in for a ball. Looked like that might be it because he took the turn, tried to go to second, stopped, hesitated, got picked off between first and second for the second out. And it looked like English might get out of it with only the one run. But then a walk, an error, another hit, and a hit batsman. And all of a sudden, one, one nothing became 3 nothing. Good curveball in the corner. The girl will settle down in the second inning, got two big strikeouts on a ground ball, faced only three hitters after a tough first inning. Hit right back to the mound, knocks it down, and he'll throw Barabee out. Solid shot right back to the pitcher. One up, one down in the third. Chase Cruthius walked. And when the throw at first base on a tapper in front of the mound got thrown away, he went to third and scored on a wild pitch. Way wide goes to the backstop. We had a left-handed throw of umpire throwing the ball back to the mound. Southpaw. Drop to second base. Big hop. Calvin almost threw it away. Picking it out of the turf. Was Hernandez the first baseman? Up 
Michael Collins, he was the one who popped it in front of the plate. Figueroa threw it away, drew him in the, off the bag. Popped up. Room for the first baseman. Hernandez makes the play. So Figueroa's really settled down. After giving up three in the first inning, he's retired seven in a row. But Collins, the ball was thrown away. Ruthers, who was running on the play, wound up at third, scored in a wild pitch. Collins stole second, went to third in a wild pitch and scored on Buford's punch into left field that bounced in front of the center field that bounced in front of Galva. And that was the third run. So the inning was extended with one in and nobody else. The walk extended the inning, but then the error and a hit batsman. Palmer, who's been plus and minus. Six strikeouts, four walks. Six outs in the game for English. All six have been strikeouts. Four of them called, two swinging. And it'll be two, three, and four for the Bulldogs. Ewan Beato drew one of the walks in the first inning. And that huge, big cloud that was over the ballpark moved away. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit darker as night comes on. So, Piano is the DH. He's hitting for the second baseman, Santana. In for a strike. Tap, cut off by the third baseman. That's a nice play. Goes to the shortstop. It might be a hit. Longer throw for the shortstop. But Kruthis did a nice job cutting in front, picking it off. And that's the first out that's not a strikeout. Gamalia Calderon was called out on strike in the first inning. Missing wide for a ball. Up and away for a ball. Down and away for a ball. In for a strike, Calderon taking all the way. Hit foul, and the count goes full. We've had a few full counts. The payoff pitch. Hit the second, big hop, Sunday hop. You like to have those hops 
Ross says, thank you very much. Caden Ross over to Jason Buford. English finally puts the ball in play, but they're two easy infield outs. Kendry Manzanillo drew a walk. First inning was an out, a walk, an out, a walk. Second inning was an out, back-to-back -back walks. And then two outs. Now it's two infield outs for the first two outs here in the third. Manzanilla was the shortstop. Curveball drops in for a strike. Both pitches have had that curveball working. Up and away for a ball. So English has had base runners, but they just haven't really come up with a hit. This is the first thing they put the ball in play, and the first two hitters ground it out. Swing and a miss. And again, two is wild, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Breaks away. And guess what? We got another full count. High and tight for a ball. So he almost had a one, two, three inning by both pitchers. Andres Figueroa, the pitcher, was called out on strikes as one trip. Hit foul up in the seats. The runner got a huge jump. They didn't even look at the runner. He was halfway to second before Palmer made the pitch. But well, for the third inning in a row, English has a runner in scoring position. Swing and a miss. Looked like he was going to swing at that pitch. At the last second, he held up and he took a quick look at the umpire and said, I hope that was ball two. And deuce as well. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. A runner at second base. Figueroa trying to help himself here. Waved at the pitch. Broke down and away. Swung right at, through it. So Palmer gets another strikeout, his seventh. He gives up another walk. But the walk is stranded at second base. We finished three here at Fraser Field. Swamps get with that big first inning, leading English three to nothing. Jason Buffard, the first baseman, single little run, his one trip. Hits the first pitch back foul out of play. Six, seven, and eight for Swampskit here in the fourth inning. Kurt ball just hung inside. Broke very late. Good pitch on the corner.
reaches for that. A curveball broke down in a way, protecting the plate with two strikes. Just reached out, kind of slapped it up in the sheets. And we'll do it again at one and two. Chopper, they're not going to get him. Don't even bother throwing, it's an infield hit. It's a line drive in the box score. Rupert's got his second hit. Just a little Baltimore chop down the third base line. Furlong got to it, but had no chance to throw him out. So Swampsky has a base run that ends Figueroa's streak of retiring seven in a row. Jamison Ford, the DH hitting for the pitcher Palmer, got hit by a pitch. His one at bat. He's going to bunt. Pedro steps off trying to keep the runner at first close. Missing for ball three, they throw it down. Bruford gets back. Ball gets away, but he's not able to go any place because he was diving back to first base. He was prone on the turf. Hernandez had to track it down. On four pitches. Ford's on for the second time after getting hit. Now he draws a walk. Swampskin has first and second. Put nobody out. That's going to bring a trip out to the mound. Nobody warming up in the bullpen from English. Quinn Hitchcock, the left fielder, bounced out third to first. So the wheel's turning. Phil so Caponigo talking to base runners and hitter. English coach talking to the defense, pitcher, catcher. Everything breaks up, we'll get back to baseball. So after retiring seven in a row, one, two, three innings in the second and third, Figueroa gives up a hit and a walk to start the fourth. Smolsky trying to add to a three nothing lead. And just trying to again, keep the runner close at second base. In for a strike. Squares the bunt, pops it foul off the backstop. He squared about it. Almost looked like he was trying to bunt for a hit. Last minute, he dropped the bat down. So the 0-2 pitch up and coming. Gets away, and that's going to be a pass ball. Went right off the glove of Furlong. And that moves the runners in the scoring position. So now it's second and third with nobody else. That just went right off the glove of Furlong.
call third strike, I think he knew it too. He hesitated a second, but he knew he was going to the dugout. Nice pitch by Figueroa. His third strikeout. Frank Poplato, the right fielder, was called on the strikes his one trip. Waves at that pitch, it broke down the way. English with the infield in. Missing inside for a ball. Just missed. 2-1 the count. Top of the order. Caden Ross, the second baseman on deck. Suicide squeeze. It's going to work. It's an error on the, uh, on the pitcher. The runner from third just flying home. And... Poplato got the bunt down. He reaches on the error. So he won't get an RBI. Although he should get an RBI because the run was going to score before the error was made or not. Now the runner just takes off for second base and the runner is going to score. Poplato didn't wait for the pitch. He just took off. Figueroa threw the ball to second. The runner came flying home. So the double steal. So it looked like Figueroa had settled down. Now English makes their second error. They give up another walk. And now the double steal. Pop Lado just took off. I'm going to try and have you worry about me. Try to get me going a second so the runner at third can score. And it worked perfectly. By the time they realized he was going a second, he was virtually there. They should have just held the ball. But they threw it to second. The runner sprinted home. The throw nowhere near in time. And the double steal gives Swampski another run. And it's now five to nothing. Down the way for a ball. Hayden Ross flat out deep to left. Wallace making a nice play. And he bounced out to the shortstop. Hit in the left field for a base hit. They hold the runner at third because he had to wait to see if the third baseman would make the play. So it's first and third with one out as now we're going to get warm up action down in the English bullpen. Connor Chiarello singled and scored, called out on strikes. Off the catcher's glove. The run scores the high pitch. Another three run in. They're running wild here in this inning. Double steal, wild pitches. Swamps get his double their fun. They now lead six to nothing. Oh, 
hit in the air to left field. Wallace almost in his tracks, didn't really have to move. Chirillo flies out to left. For the second out. Nick Perabi singled in a run. Hit it hard, but hit it right back to the pitcher and got thrown out. Hit to right field, over by the line, and making the one-handed grab. Is Calderon. So again, they finally get out of the inning, but again, he just graciously gives Swampskit three more. Swampskit has doubled their fun with two three-run innings. They now lead it six to nothing. They got this three with two hits. One of the hits was left on base, so it really didn't have anything to do with the inning, but an error, a walk, a double steal, a wild pitch, and all of a sudden, David Palmer on the mound now has three more runs to work with as he's leading six to nothing as we're halfway through the ball game. So Figueroa has only walked two, but both of them scored. He's also made two errors. He's got both errors that English made, and both errors have scored. Six, seven, and eight for English as we start the bottom of the fourth inning. Jordan Hernandez struck out swinging his one trip. It's unusual to see a pitcher walk five hitters in three innings and be pitching a shutout. English has had base runners. But they've only put the ball in play twice. Nine hitters, seven strikeouts. Hit in the air, long run for the center fielder. And a very nice play by Chiarello. Hernandez hit that a long way in right center field and running almost under the scoreboard. Chirillo made a great running catch. That's the closest that English has come to a base hit. Now Furlong drew a walk. Takes it wide for a ball. That was a very nice running catch by Chirillo covering a lot of ground, taking extra bases away from Hernandez. So everything going Swamp Scott's way and everything going anti English. Popped up. Second baseman takes a couple of steps out in the outfield. Ross makes the play. Two up, two down. Wide for a ball. Down and away for a ball. Oh, 
Fishing for ball three. In for a strike. Elijah Wallace started to his first base. Thought he had his second walk. He walked the first time up. And we got another full count, three and two. We've had several of these. The payoff pitch. Swamps get one and strike three. Wallace is on with a walk. And Palmer still can't get a one, two, three inning. Walked two each in the first two innings, got two outs. Walked a batter in, in the third, gets two outs here. Walks a batter. Pitch misses. Sanders Richardson was called out on strikes his one trip. On the corner for a strike. Just missed. The runner takes off, swing and a miss. Steal second. Again, they got a big jump. Palmer not really holding anybody on. And we got deuces wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. A runner at second base. And had a runner in scoring position every inning. That one bounces and goes to the English dugout. I thought maybe Richardson would go to first base. It almost looked like he swung at it. And Collins, the catcher, got the ball back and tagged him. He thought he swung at it too. They check with the base umpire, they say no. And we got another full count, three and two. English has their first run of the third. Strike three call, he caught him looking again. So Palmer bails himself out. English finally gets around to the third, but they're stranded there again. They've had 18 hitters in only four innings, and there's zero on the scoreboard. It swamps get six, English nothing at the end of four. Middle of the order for Swampskid as we start the fifth inning. Chase Grutus walked and scored, bounced out second to first. That one bounced before it got the home plate. And those big puffy white clouds have now turned dark because it's getting dark here. Night is settling in. The lights are starting to take effect. Low for a ball, it goes to the backstop. Missing for ball three.
in for a strike. And that's ball four. Going to bring a trip out to the mound, and we're going to get a new pitcher, I believe. So Figueroa is going to go four. Struck out three, walk three, hit a batter. And he's on the short end of a 6 nothing lead. And it will be Elrond Pimentel who will take over on the mound. Solid shot right off the third baseman. English makes the third error. Group this one's up at third. Michael Collins on for the second time. Second time he's reached on an error. He has scored a run and popped the first. And they'll run for Collins. It'll be Roddy again running for him. Roddy scored the run running for him in the first inning. Patient group is perfect. Singled in a run. Got an infield hit. Little number down the third base line. He beat for a base hit and he came around to score. After his little hit, there was a walk, a pass ball and an error that brought him around. So second and third for Swampscott. High and tight for a ball. So again, English being very gracious host. Helping Swanskit build up a lead. Now helping it to try and add to it. It hit him. He's on for the third time. Swanskit have the bases loaded. Jamison for the DH, hitting for the pitcher. He got hit by a pitch, walked and scored. So he hasn't been up officially, but he scored a run. Nice stop by Frillon on a pitch in the turf. Missing again. Swing and a miss. Furlong had a bounce out to his right to block that one. And it kind of goes three and one. That one bounced. Ford walks for the second time in a row. He's on for the third time. He gets an RBI. Ruthless walks home with the seventh run. And the bases are still loaded for Quinn Hitchcock, who 
grounded the third and called out on strikes. Both times against Figueroa, he's up for the first time against Pimentel. Drop foul past third base. Swing and a miss. So it looked like Figueroa was catching up after the first inning, retired seven in a row. But then gave up three more in the fourth inning. A little blooper. Infield fly was called by the base umpire as Hitchcock hits a little pop up to the second baseman. So that's the first out. Frank Paplado. Call on strikes, laid down a perfect suicide squeeze. And the ball was booted by the pitcher. The run scored, he wound up on base and he wound up scoring. Hit back to the mound. He almost threw the first base. He turned like he was gonna throw the first base. And somebody must have Got his attention because he spun quickly, or he remembered. He spun quickly to throw it to the plate to get the force out. It looked like he was going to go to first base. So two-way for the top of the order. Caden Ross flied to the left, ground to the short, singled. High for a ball. That was a hit right back to the mound. He had his back to the plate. Looked like he was going to throw the ball to first base. And the last second, he just spun and threw it home to get the force. High and tight for a ball. High for a ball on the verge of walking in another run. In for a strike, as you would expect, Ross taking all the way. The 3-1 pitch, up and coming. In for a strike. Yeah, we have another three and two count. And the runners will be off and running. Bounces outside. Ross gets an RBI. Rufford walks home. Bases are still loaded. Corner Chiarello singled and scored. Called out on strikes. Fly to left. High and tight for a ball. Five walks. And a couple of hit passmen. In on the hands, he fouls it back to the backstop. Evens the count at one.
way up and in for a ball. Pimentel is very deliberate. It takes a little bit of time. Fouls it off to catch up to the backstop. And we got Deuces Wild again. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two runs in for Swampscott here in the fifth. Swing and a miss. So Swampscott doesn't get their third three-run inning. They do get two. They send eight to the plate. They did it without a base hit. Three walks, a hit passman, an error. And it's now eight to nothing. Zach Alex is the new pitcher, and this is something you don't normally see. Through four innings, David Palmer is pitching a no-hitter. He, and he struck out eight, but he's walked six. So Alex will be the new pitcher. And he'll face the top of the order. Gil McGalva, Ewood Piatto, and Gamalia Calderon as we start the bottom of the fifth. Up and away for a ball. So Palmer goes four. And it's going to be out of play. Up in the seat, scattering the fans. He goes four. Doesn't allow a hit. Doesn't allow a run. Struck out eight. But he walked six. So he threw a lot of pitches. Swing and a miss. And he had Zach Alex originally the starting right fielder. And before the game started, they replaced him with Frank Poplato. And now he's in the game on the mound. Up, back, foul, and out of play. Came close to the press box. Solid shot to third. Long throw across the diamond. Dropped at first base. Galva will reach on the error. Long throw. They had him. And they just dropped the ball at first. And English has their first base runner without a walk. In for a strike. He would be out of walked and grounded a third. 
Galvin hit that a ton, but hit it right at the third baseman. He was deep, made the good long throw. Swing and a miss. And they got another big jump at first base and they steal second. You might be wondering why they're stealing bases down six nothing. It's because they can. Up and away for a ball. Nice stop by Collins, the catcher. High for a ball, so he had him. 0-2, now he's gonna come with a pitch, I put him on. Swing and a miss for strike three. English has struck out nine times. Kimberly Calderon called on on strikes, grounded out second to first. Hit the second base again, they'll throw him out again. Hit it well, hit it hard, but hit it right at the second baseman. English has their second run at the third base. Both times with two outs. Henry Manzilla has walked twice. Manzanilla is the shortstop. On the corner for a strike. That one just missed. I hold it, third base, they picked him off. So they get the run of the third and they pick him off. He only Alex only faces three hitters in the inning. We finished five. Swanskit out in front of English, eight to nothing. We'll start the sixth inning. Three, four, and five for Swampscott. As they're rolling along, they get three in the first, three in the fourth, two in the fifth. The English has had base runners in every inning, but they can't get a base hit. They've struck out nine times. They made three errors. They hit a couple. They've walked three. One of the hit pass was scored, two of the walks scored. Low for a ball. Pimental starting an inning for the first time coming in relief. Hit the shot, big hop for Manzanillo. Good hard throw, he's got a great arm. They throw Berebe out. One up, one down in the sixth. Chase, ruthless. Walked and scored, grounded out second to first, walked and scored. 
So he's 0 for 1, but he scored two runs. The two runs that Swanski just got in the fifth inning, they got it without a hit. A walk, an error, a hit batsman. Two walks with the bases loaded. That one bounced out in front of home plate. They only have five hits. They got three in the first inning with three hits. They got three in the fourth with two hits. And they got two in the fifth with no hits. Hit to short. Tough hop. Mizzanello overthrows the first pitch, but he had a hurry to throw. So the error will allow Gruthers to reach. Mizzanello hurried to throw because he didn't field it cleanly. That's the fourth error for English. And he's got a rocket for an arm. If he was on the money, I think he would have had to play it first, but he threw it more to his home plate. Went off the grandstand. And Krufus reaches first on the error. Michael Collins reached on an error and scored. Popped to the first baseman, reached on an error. Hit in the air, behind first base, reaching up and making the play, falling down. Mr. Hernandez, second baseman, Santana almost ran into him. That's a nice play at first, he backing up, reached. When he finally reached over his shoulder, he fell down making the play. But he stayed with it, and there's two outs. Jason Brutman is perfect. Singled in a run. Singled and scored. Got hit by a pitch and scored. So he's two for two. Another stolen base by Swamp Scott. Brutman is two for two. Two singles. Has scored two and knocked in a run. And he's two for two, but on base three times. With a hit passman. One, one of two hit passmen. Over the head of Buford. Just saw his life pass in front of him with that right at his head. Three walks, two of them have scored. Two hit passmen, one of them have scored. Four errors. Three of them have scored. Here's another walk. And the other two walks. Forced in runs. So they've walked six. Two of them scored, two of them forced in runs. And one of them is at first base now. First and second, two outs. Jamison Ford, the DH, hitting for the pitcher. Hit by a pitch, walked and scored, walked, forcing in a run. So he's Ofa, but he scored a run and knocked in a run. The runner takes off. Shaw hit the left field. Nice play again by Wallace. Got a good jump. The, the runner had third base stolen. 
But the error and the walk don't hurt. Swampskit is down in the sixth inning. We'll move into the bottom half of the sixth. It'll be the middle of the order for English. Four, five, and six. English still looking for their first hit. They've had base runners galore. Two on the first, two on the second, a runner in the third, a runner reaching third in the fourth, a runner reaching third in the fifth that got picked off at third base. Six walks have been the only base runners until Galva reached on an error in the fifth inning. Henry Mazzanella has walked twice. He was at bat in the fifth inning when he picked the runner off at third. So he'll lead off here in the sixth. Line shot and English has a base hit. Mazzanella jumped on the first pitch. And that's the first hit for English. Figueroa is hitting. I didn't know he stayed in the game. He was replaced on the mound. The runner takes off. Easily steals second base. Football still going on over at Manning. On the inside corner for a strike. I've got to learn the rules. I don't know how Figueroa gets back in the game. Call third strike. Ten strikeouts by Swamp Squad pitching. Eight of them by Palmer, the starter. Turning in, there's a strikeout. He hit a shot that looked like the first hit. The runner takes off for third and steals third. So English has their third runner at third base. One of them with two outs, the other one got picked off. On the corner for a strike. And then it hit that line shot into right center field. And Chiarella made a great running catch. Swing and a miss. That looked like that was going to be English's first hit. That was back in the fourth inning.
Missing wide for a ball. Count evens at two. Waves at the pitch for strike three. Third strikeout for Alex. He's got two first names, Zach and Alex. His last name. On the corner for a strike. Furlong walked, popped to second. On the corner again, quickly 0-2. Alex strikes out the side. He's got four strikeouts in his two innings. Palmer had eight in the first four. So 12 strikeouts by Schwanski pitching. And we reached the end of six. Ingo Sound, the last three outs, as Schwanski leads it. Eight to nothing going into the seventh inning. We start the seventh inning. Eight, nine, and one for Swamp Scott. When Hitchcock leads off, he is grounded out, struck out, popped out. Camelia Calderon is the new pitcher for English. So Pimentel walk three hit a batter. Gave up a couple of runs. He walked in the two runs that Swampsky got in the fifth inning. In for a strike, one and two. Alderaan coming in from right field to take them on. Good pitch for strike three. That broke right over the plate. Nice pitch. Fourth strikeout for English pitching. Frank Paplato called on a strikes, laid down a perfect suicide squeeze for an RBI in the fourth. And when the ball was bobbled, he reached first, stole second, wound up scoring on a wild pitch. Last time up, he hit the ball back to the mound. That was when Pimentel had it, looked like he was going to throw to first base and spun and threw it home for the force out when Swampskin had the bases loaded. In for a strike. Nice play by the first base coach. This is Ben O'Brien. This is not Pop Lau. They get a pinch hitter. They don't tell us when they do that. We, we have to catch it now. Another hit batsman. Third hit batsman by English pitching. 
Each of the pitchers have hit a batter. Caden Ross, the leadoff hitter. Fly to the left. Wallace making a nice play for the out. Grounded a short. Singled. Last time up, he walked with the bases loaded, getting an RBI. So he's one for three with an RBI. Nice play by the second baseman. Santana going a couple of steps to his right. Picked that little lazy line drive. Two away. Corner Chiarello. Single and scored. Struck out. Fly to left. Struck out. Struck out against both Pimental and Figueroa. Missing low for a ball. That's a major league wild pitch that went over everybody's head to the backstop. Good pitch on the corner for a strike. That had a little bit of mustard on it. Swing and a miss. Deuce as well. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. A runner at second base. So he gets two strikeouts in the inning. Swampkin is down in the seventh. down the last three outs. It'll be eight, nine, and one for the Bulldogs. And Alex will take the mound for the third time. English finally got a base hit. As you know, leading off the six, but then Alex struck out the next three. Palmer went the first four. Didn't give up a hit. Struck out eight. Kept English off the board, but he walked six, so he threw a lot of pitches. Alex came in and Hershey got a one, two, three inning in the fifth. He get, there was an error. The runner reached third and then the runner got picked off at third, so he only faced three hitters. He gave up the leadoff hitter, the leadoff hit in the sixth. Two stolen bases put the runner at third, but then three strikeouts kept English off the board. Elijah Wallace has walked twice. He made a couple of nice plays in left field. Missing wide for a ball. Yeah. 
in for a strike. He started to go to first base. He was going to throw the bat away thinking it was ball four. In for strike two. And we've had a bunch of these full counts. Pop foul. Long run by the catcher. Can't get there. Balled up in the Swamski dugout. Good effort by Collins. Along with the first baseman Buf Buford. Swing and a miss. So he comes back and gets him after being down 3-0. Four straight strikeouts by Alex. He struck out five in this game. Richardson struck out twice, both called. In for a strike. On the inside corner, back in the way, but it's in. And it's one and two. Down the way for a ball. Missing for a ball. Strike three. Five in a row. Down strikeout. And we're going to pinch hitter for Galva. Elian Pena. In for a strike. Down and in for a ball. Popped up. Second baseman Ross makes the play, so it ends the streak of strikeouts. But Alex retires six in a row to end the game and give Swampsky their fourth win, get them back over 500. So Palmer went the first four, struck out eight, walked six, didn't give up a hit or a run. Alex comes in, pitches the last three, gives up a base hit, strikes out six, doesn't allow a run. Henry Manzanillo got the only hit for him. It was a solid shot to left field, leading off the sixth inning. And he got as far as third base. He got a couple of runners at third, but couldn't score. He had a bunch of runners with all the walks in the first four innings, but couldn't get a base hit. The only other shot they had was Jordan Hernandez hit that line shot to left center field that Chiarillo made. A terrific catch on taking base hits away, uh, extra bait hit away from Hernandez. And that was the closest they come to a hit until Manzella got one leading off the sixth inning. And that was the only hit they got in the game. Joe Caponigo greeting his player. Joe Caponigo coaches Esteban Pollard in the, the semi pro league. And he coached them when he played in English. So they're very close, almost like father and son. Joe Caponero comes back, gets to play against his old team that he coached English, and gets a big win, eight to nothing. Skowalski got three in the first inning. 
a single stolen base and a single knocked the run in, but then a walk and error kept the inning alive. A wild pitch scored a run, then a base hit by Buford made it 3 nothing. They got three more in the fourth. A single, a walk, a perfect suicide squeeze by Pilato. The ball was juggled. He reached on the error. He came around to score. A double steal in the inning. Got them the third run. Then they scored two more in the fifth inning without a base hit. Two walks with the bases loaded, forced in two. Made it eight to nothing, and that was the final score. So English drops. They won't get their second win. They'll have to wait till next game to get their second win. Swamski will get back on the winning track. They break their two-game losing streak, and they get back over 500. They go to four and three as they had two three-run innings and then two more in the fifth. It's enough to make it eight to nothing over English as they hold English to no runs and one base hit in the game. So eight nothing Swamski over English. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.